Hello and welcome to the Games Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be covering viewport display options in Unreal 4. We'll begin with the display options, multiple viewports, and then we'll finish with viewport camera settings. So to get things started, we need to come up to the left-hand corner of the viewport and you'll see perspective and lit. If you click on lit, this is a list of options for material, lighting, and collision debugging. We'll go into more detail with these options in future videos. Next to lit, if you click on perspective, these are options for different camera angles. Now the thing to note about this is you have perspective and orthographic. Whenever you click on these other ones, you're gonna be going into orthographic. Orthographic is taking all of the perspective out of the camera and flattening the image. Next, we'll talk about multiple viewports. And the options for this are in multiple places. So the first option, if you come up to the left-hand corner of the viewport and you click on this left dropdown and you come down to layouts, these are options for changing the layout of your viewport. Related to that, if you come up to window and you come all the way down, you have save layout and you have reset layout. Now let me show you the second option. If you come all the way over to the right-hand corner of the viewport and you click on these overlapping cubes, your one viewport will turn into four. By default, these three other viewports will be orthographic wireframe, but you can change them. If you want to maximize a viewport, you just go back to that same spot and you click on the cube. Next, I want to talk about the viewport camera settings. If you come up to the left-hand corner of the viewport and you go back to this dropdown, this is where your viewport camera options are going to be. Additionally, you'll have some options in here for performance and optimization. For the viewport camera, I want to point out the field of view, the far view plane, and bookmarks. So field of view, as you lower this number, it's going to seem like you're zooming in at first. But what you're doing is you're taking all of the perspective out of the camera. Now why you would change this in the viewport is potentially to match your viewport to your game camera. In a way, when you take all of the perspective out of your camera, you're making an orthographic camera. Next, we have the far view plane. And this is used for performance and optimization. When it's set to zero, it doesn't do anything. But what this does is it sets the furthest distance that an object is going to be rendered from the camera. This won't update in real time, but if you enter the number and then you click in the viewport, then it'll update. Next, we have bookmarks. We come back to that dropdown, you go to bookmarks, set bookmarks. This is a place where you can set and save different camera angles. You can do that here, or you can hold down control on the keyboard and press zero through nine to save different camera angles. Additionally, if you just press 0 through 9 on the keyboard, you'll cycle through the camera angles that you have saved. And the last thing I want to point out is hiding gizmos. So if you come into that dropdown again, you'll see game view. If you turn that on, or if you hit G on the keyboard, you'll hide all the gizmos in your viewport. This can be useful as your project starts to build and your scene is overwhelmed with these icons. And similar to that, if you click on show, these are a bunch of options for hiding different gizmos independently. All right, guys, in the next video, we're going to go over playing the project. If you guys thought this video was useful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.